Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I sew my track stand. Pretty much what I do, of course you got the needle on the thread, knot it at the end, triple knot it. Yes, Karis. I lay it on there and normally what I would do is just cut it just a little bit longer just in case because you know how sometimes you can sew if you sew hair in or if you know what I'm talking about you can sew it and somehow with the tension of the thread that it'll shorten it so so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do mine so I go ahead and I put my thread in then I'm gonna go ahead and lay my track over get it started so what I do then is I go at the very tip take it through You're, if you're used to sewing, then you know. And just when I think it's working itself out. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and pull it through. And I'm going to take it back through again. Same area. But then I take it and I wrap my thread around it two or three times. Don't do it really tight because it'll knot itself like it's trying to do before you get the thread pulled all the way through So once you do so then you want to push it pull it as hard as you can and make a knot so that's your knot that's what's keeping the th that's what's keeping your track down put my hair on my face so then what I do is I just start sewing so I go over some but then I tie my once I put once I put the needle through I make sure that I wrap the thread around the needle and then pull it through. That's just making kind of like a, a little security knot instead of just sewing like you would on some clothes. It's just making like a little security. You don't have to do that, but I do that. That's how I do my sew-ins and they last. Sometimes the only thing you'll probably have to do is just tack the ends depending on if you have your hair braided with um, with synthetic hair or if you just braided your own hair like I know someone's hair that I did their own hair was very thin but they didn't want to use the Koneka line hair to reinforce it so once their braid started to loosen up then the ends of the track starts to loosen up so then that's pretty much what you want to do you want to just take it on through keep doing it wrap it on around when you wrap it around you don't want to do it too tight to where it'll knot up before you pull the thread all the way through because then you'll have to start a new needle and that's just more time where you could have been actually sewing it in so take it all the way across guys You hear the video game in the back, my son is playing the game. So you see what I mean? How now it's just right at the tip. Sometimes that happens. Like, you, like I said, you don't have to do it this way. This is just the way that I do mine and it works for me so once you get to the end pull that through then you want to go to the, as close to the tip as you can but not all the way to the tip and then two or three times wrapped around pull it through pull it as tight as I can and it reinforces that end and this way Guys, so what I'm going to actually do now is sew my braids closer together. Like you can see right here, I have this big gap between this braid and this braid. I've already went through the front ones and did these. And what I did is just took the needle and thread and just sewed them together so that you won't get or so that you won't have this big part there. So I only have two more to do, which 
I'm only going to do from here to here and I actually had to let my um let my hair loosen up I'm filming this over the course of like three days so I had to let my hair um loosen up first before I could do this so that's why you see me in different uh clothing and everything so pretty much the only thing I'm going to do is just clip this back and I already have my needle threaded so what I do is I'm going to go from this side to this side is either you can go through the previous track or if you, some of the braid is exposed you can do the braid but since my track is what's exposed I'm going to go through the track and then I'm going to go through this braid right here and I only really need to do this in the front because the back ones are okay so I'm going to go through it a couple times and you can see how it just pulls it together you definitely don't want to pull too tight because you don't want to put too much tension on your hair because you are going through your hair so make my little slip knot right there and then just continue on you don't have to do the, the uh, thread around the needle with this if you don't want to Mine's, I'm just so used to doing it that I'm going to automatically do it so yeah and you just continue on through like I said you don't you want to pull it tight enough to where it's going to close with one another but you don't want to pull it so tight to where it's uncomfortable and that your head will be hurting that's why I had to wait a couple days because my braids were extremely tight okay so I've gotten the tracks all sewn together like I said I didn't want to pull them too tight because I didn't want it to look or I didn't want it well yeah I didn't want it to look bulky either but then I wanted to be I didn't want it to be too tight so only thing I have to do now is just tone it down I wrapped it up last night so this is what it looks like I don't know if you can see it all but normally normally when I have a full sewing I would wear bangs but just gonna change it up a little bit and keep it long I may end up with the bangs because I know this hair is probably gonna get on my nerves but this is what it looks like it's going to be in a long wrap and hopefully like I said it will stay out of my face if not then what I'll probably just do is just swoop it over like if I'm at work or if I'm doing something I'll just swoop it up but um this is the end result nice and flat no bumps in it I'll take some pictures and post them at the end. If you guys have any questions about the hairstyle, let me know. Um, I'll probably end up um, making a video on curling it, you know, doing it different ways. Because I, I really don't like wearing my hair flat. So, okay, hold on. So, this is what it is, guys. Let me know how you like it, and I will talk to you soon. And just when I think it's working itself out, can't be so. Everything we work so hard for.